This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hi guys, Richie Bob here. Welcome, it's time for Sims Mobile update schedule video for the next update. This update is called Briny Nights and it's going to release on Monday the 16th of May at 3.30am UTC. That's 4.30am BST and I'll put a countdown on my website. I'll also put multiple links down in the description to the blog notes, to my website, all that kind of thing, the Wumples, Quest Steps, they'll all be down there in the description so please do take a look down there plus the video is broken up into chapters which might be more helpful if there's something you specifically want to see rather than watching the whole video, whatever you decide to do. Hopefully that makes it easier for you plus there will be the Briny Nights continuation update which is just a generic app update comes mid release to keep the events going and things that's going to happen on Thursday the 16th of June at 3 30 a.m UTC so let's start by going th through the blog notes well we'll say is this is a very mixed bag if we're talking about sims 4 it definitely pulls in from outdoorsy packs and city packs and also pet packs but there's no pets there's some good and bad points as usual but don't expect to be blown away with this update it's another one of those kind of updates and i think we're going to be doing this for a while i'm going to give my thoughts about this update at the end of the video i'm just going to start by going through the blog notes and showing you the items so the blog notes read Susu, head to the heights to let your spirit shine bright with Sim Festival Season 7 Briny Nights. In this update, love, laugh and live with all your Sims while discovering the best of city life, outdoor adventures, high profile parties and delightful dorms in a safe and inclusive atmosphere. Participate in the summer fiesta to make memories like getting cosy in tents, shooting hoops with friends, roasting s'mores with kids and many more. Play the updates, exotic events and enjoy the pleasures of life with luxurious rewards, free packs and more. Okay, so let's start by talking about Sim Festival Season 7, Briny Nights. The Sim is Katarina Lynx, who is someone that came with Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. So by putting her in, you're just asking for trouble. No, there are no cats and dogs, no pets in this update. Just randomly they've decided to choose one from that pack. Katarina Lynx has catwalked into the heights to attend Sim Festival Season 7. Bump into her at Briny Nights and begin the update with a meet cute. I don't know what that is. What's a meet cute? It's a scene in which two people who form a future romantic couple meet for the first time. Typically under unusual, humorous or cute circumstances in film and TV, okay? Experience the city with her and complete tasks to grab the delightful designer dorm, Katrina's City Crib, available at tier 50 with Sim Festival Pass and the other must have rewards. So I'll show you the tour of that dorm when I have it in my game, when the game's been released. I'll do a tour because we don't have access to that in our preview builds. But I can show you the items, most of the items, in the sim festival so the price track let's see tier one you're going to unlock katarina links tier two in the premium track so a paid item we've got the blossom upper arm tattoo you get it for male and female sims but it doesn't unlock at the same time they're both on the premium track so you get the female one first and then later on you'll get the male one at tier 34. So this is the tattoo on the female sim, the blossom upper arm tattoo. I'll do a blog post showing everything that unlocks. I think I might have forgotten to do that with the last update. I'm sorry if I did. I usually do a blog post showing you everything that unlocks at every tier, including cupcakes, fashion gems, everything like that on both the free track and the premium track. I will do that again. I'll make a note now. So the next one with actual items is tier five. This has something in the free and the paid track. So in the free track, you get these lucky feather earrings. That's what they're called. I have asked for the name to be changed because it is actually just one earring. So I don't think it should be called lucky feather earrings. 
I feel like that's a little bit misleading. These are for female Sims and these are different colour variations, there's six different colours. in that one I think so that's your first free item there but then in tier 5 on the paid track you get the Molly Queen shaggy hair which is actually the hair that Katarina Lynx is wearing I've got this sim here wearing it and this is for female sims you do unlock it later for male sims it has a different name and it's on the free track so for the female sims if you want this you need to be on the premium track so you need to have that paid festival pass so this is it i love the detail on the ears <laughs> cute little stuck up bit at the back let's see it in all the different colors does it change the cat ears i'm going to show it from the back just in case they change no i don't think they do oh they do do they yeah, the absolute view. How cute. Okay, that's definitely a cute item. I think that's beautiful. I'm going to leave her in the pink one. Then the next item is on the paid track. So this is tier nine of the paid track of the sim festival where have i put it oh it's in here okay so this table is the outpost metal table it's an end table six different colors nothing particularly amazing colors are nice you see the price is there oh beautiful butterfly but yeah that's a table and then tier 10 on the free track you get the museum glass window which is this here it's absolutely huge six different colors of this very cool quite like that one that's what it looks like on both sides and on the paid track for the same tier so tier 10 you get the feline charm necklace modeled here by this sim this is for female sims that's what it looks like front and back and these are the six different color variations i'll leave it in that one the next item is at tier 15 in the paid track it's the kawaii crop top this is the kawaii crop top again for female sims comes in six different colors and it's another pet themed item the next item also on the paid track tier 19 these grungy cat shorts what i'll do is just take this top i'll put her in a crop top just to show you yeah okay the height of these bottoms grungy cat shorts Again, for female sims with the cat print, six different colours. Okay. Then next at tier 20 in the free track, we have the long ceramic plant pot, which is this here, six different colours. I think that's quite a nice item actually. And we can talk to it, tend it, and water it. The usual interactions there. That's what it looks like on <laughs> both sides. Great. And then on the paid track for tier 20, you get this grungy floral carpet, which is this in here. Always nice to get new floor and wall patterns. So this is it. It comes in six different colors. The next item is at tier 25 in the paid track. This is the wooden double bed with futon. You might find that this looks familiar, so I'll put another bed by the side of it in a second. But yeah, six different colours on the paid prize track. But 
please ignore this. This is uh, an item that is supposedly a missing bed that we as you know supposed to have in this build but it's missing so yeah hopefully i don't know maybe that will turn into a bed or it will disappear for us creators i'm not sure but there's definitely about seven items in this build that are missing that i'm not going to be able to show you unfortunately so we already have this bed the stank futon oh heck i don't have room let me move this bed over and see if it lets me place it there we go. As you can see, it's the same. It just has different colour variants. This is a uh, one that we've had for a while. And uh, just doesn't have that pattern on the front. So they've they basically recoloured it. So I think to put that on the paid track is eesh, quite out of order. There is a new bed interaction. It's so random because I was like, oh, why would you want that? It's called view bills for the month. But actually it is quite a nice little animation. They just get their laptop out and jump on there. And it's really nicely done, lovely, beautifully animated. Um, it's a shame there isn't anything on the screen there, but oh, she's over it. But it's really nice animation that I was quite impressed and you can't do those that thing on the old bed so that is something i suppose but um technically still the same bed i think that might not have been quite as insulting with that extra little appointment that they've put on there and it's been such a beautiful animation and the new pattern it wouldn't have been too bad if it was on the free track but to put it on the pay track is a little bit ugh. the next item at tier 30 on the paid track is this outpost metal chair in six different colors it's a dining chair to match the outpost metal table and you can relax on that then at tier 33 in the paid track we have the modern metal coffee table which is this, it looks quite rock-like to me, but it's metal apparently. Six different colors. Oh, the blue one is nice. Yeah, and that's just a table. I think that's quite cool. And then at tier 34, you get the male version of the Blossom Upper Arm Tattoo in the paid track. And this is it on a male sim. I don't know why it's called Upper Arm Tattoo when it's actually on the lower arm. This lower part of the arm, I don't know. And unfortunately, you can't wear it with the other tattoo, which I thought was a bit distressing. I don't see why they shouldn't be able to be worn at the same time, really, because they don't, like, overlap or anything. They're on different arms, but yeah, there we go. Tier 35, you're going to get in the free track this museum glass double door, which is this here, in six different colours to match the window. Let's try and have a sim walk through it so we can, oh, so beautifully demonstrated. Amazing, I like that. And both the door and the window are on the free track, so that's a good sign. And then in the paid track on the same tier, we've got this family values fridge which I think is quite a sweet item. It has the sticky notes on there. They don't have anything on them, but they're on there. And this is in six different colours. I think that's quite a sweet fridge. Oh, it looks great in the pink and the white. And you can stock that usual fridge interactions, I believe. Then at tier 40 in the paid track, we've got these boss girl ankle boots for female sims in six different colours. great i really love the orange and the pink tier 45 in the paid track for female sims you get this practical swept hair it's a nice little bob with flicks on the side and the 17 different hair colors sticking out it's very cute at tier 48 in the paid track you get the irregular Joe brick wall this appears to be on the interior and exterior walls under bricks 
regular drawer brick wall. So let me just show you it here inside. Six different colours. Barely different from each other, those first two. But then things start to change a little. And it is the same on the outside, same colours. So you can have that matching as a brick right through. Then at tier 49, in the free track, we get a floor, which I've put down here. It's the sheen tiled floor. Again, six different colours. And they are all quite different from each other. I think that's a nice one. And on the paid track at tier 49 also, we have this fancy high-backed sofa, six different colours. And you can do all the usual couch interactions on there. Then at tier 50 in the free prize track you get the Tomcat Shaggy hair which is just the male version of the hair with the cat ears as you can see in the 17 different hair colours. Maybe we'll leave it like that to match his jumper. Plus, you get in the paid prize track at tier 50, Katarina's City Crib, which is a house template. So they've gone back to that from the story, given that the story was so bugged. I know some of you are still having problems with that. Hopefully not too many of you. But um, yeah, they've gone back to the house template. I have seen it, but I haven't like looked around it myself, so I can't really say if it's all functional and um, flows nicely and has doors and not float, you know, the kitchen cabinets aren't floating and things. I'll take a look at that when that's released. We'll see. It does come with the basketball cart though, which is interesting. And then there's a huge gap all the way through to tier 70. Obviously you're still getting currency and things, but no items until you get to tier 70, in which in the free track you get Katarina Link's signature plaque. As usual, um, unfortunately this is missing from the preview build so I'm not able to show you that um, but I'm sure you can imagine what that looks like. In the paid prize track you get the Briny Knights trophy, another thing that is missing from our preview builds unfortunately so not able to show you those. This event is a 60 day event starting on the 16th of May and that's going to run until July 15th. The battle pass will also run the same dates. Battle pass just meaning your paid track festival pass and that will run from the same dates May 16 till July 15 for those of us levels 8 and over. So that's everything for the sim festival. Let me know your thoughts down below. Now let's move on to sweet treat showdowns as per the blog notes. They read, Sweet Treat Showdown is back on popular demand and that too with a bang. Head to the Parkside to bake yourself, the Parkside, to bake yourself some bewitching rewards in the brand new Go Glamorous event. Rewards are plenty, so win all the red carpet worthy outfits and gorgeous items. So I'll go through these items now. So we, there are two Sweet Treat Showdown events. This new Bake Off called Go Glamorous is going to start on May 16 at 5pm UTC. It's going to run to May 29th at the same time. In the Sweet Treat box, we have this Club Bouncer Jacket for male sims. This comes in eight different colours. This Royal Tavern Bar Stool in eight different colours. to a child on that. It's a cute little bar stool. Well, I won't really call it a bar stool, but it's a very cute little chair. You also get this comedy shirt neon, which is a light here, the comedy mask in it. Let's turn that on. And then eight different colours of that. The 
photogenic photo light, which is out here. Let's turn this on. Eight different colours. Wowza. It's a bit of light decor there to tell a story with, I guess. This exquisite glass coffee table which just looks like a long stool or an ottoman with a glass table over the top. Eight different colours. The faux antique vanity which is this here. Eight different colours. Brush teeth, talk to self, wash hands. And the straight, indulgent love seat, which is this one here with a bit of a tiger print at the bottom. Eight different colours. do our usual couch interactions. Then in the royal treat box we've got the truly regal throne which is this chair here. Eight different colours. Relax or read to a child. For male sims, we've got this one percenter suit. I think this is lovely. In ten different colours. They're spoiling us with colours these days. And for female sims, we've got this splendid silk sari. In ten different colours. Beautiful. And then the grand prizes are this twinkling seahorse fountain. How nice is this? So beautiful. This comes in 10 different colours as well. And you can admire it, make a wish or toss a coin. Let's take a look at these two. Make a wish is just them standing there hoping to goodness it comes true. And tossing a coin, they will actually toss a coin and do the, do the same animation. It'd be nice if they could sit on the side of that. That's the only thing, but it's not a huge deal. I think that's a really beautiful item. I love that it sparkles as well. We also get the Gilded Glory Shower, which is this here in 10 different colors. can do our usual shower interactions. Lovely. For male sims we get this retro wavy bob cut in the 17 different hair colours. For the female sims we get a hairstyle called Waves for Days hairstyle. This hasn't been available in our preview build so I'm not able to show you that in any more detail at this time. Apologies. But that's everything in this sweet treat. We've also got a rerun of the Wash and Fold Bake Off. This is going to rerun from June 17th at 5pm UTC until June 30th at the same time. This is one of the items from it, a wicker hamper and there's two locked ones. Yeah, so there we go. It is gonna be a bonus one. Whether it will work or not, I doubt it. When we've asked if it will be fixed, how can I say this politely? The answers are vague 
the, there's other bugs they're working on and I don't feel like this is the priority and I also don't think they really understand the bug. They say that it's working for some people. I don't think it is, like from what I've seen. I don't see anyone who's been able to get the grand prize swatches for the bonus, for any bonus sweet treats since they launched them. So um, if they are, I'm, I'm so happy that they are, but I don't see that happening. So I wouldn't hold your breath for getting any um, extra swatches, but obviously you guys are pretty sad and you're using these events to get extra currency and things, so power to you. What's next? Treasure hunts. Legend has it, a master camper stored his mystical treasure trove filled with the best camping essentials decades ago. Small Fry found the treasure's map and is on the job to find it. Join the search party to win exclusive items from Camp Sunshine Treasure Hunt. Okay, so... We've got two new treasure hunts. The first one will be starting on June 1st, 5pm UTC, until June 14th, called Camp Sunshine. The quest rewards, so Small Fry's quest for treasure, will give you a reward when you've completed it. And that is, as shown here, this stunning fur hawk for male sims. This is your quest reward in 17 different hair colours. I think I'm gonna leave them in a blue one, yeah. And then the helping hand bonus, so if you get the pack that runs alongside the treasure hunt, so the catch-up pack. You always get a little item in with it and this time it's this top for female sims zipped up zippers in six different colours. Okay now getting into the treasure hunt pyramid row four. Start at the top we have the hastily roped lantern pole which is this here. Six different colours, very cute item, a little lantern on the end, you can turn it on and off, it's currently on, that's off, turn it back on, delightful. We also have this ancient ruins ottoman in six different colours, there's a lot of these rocky chair things in this update, usual couch type interactions, this rock solid coffee table, six different colours, it's just a rock but it's also a coffee table. The simply lush pine tree, it's nice to get a new gigantic tree, this is it, oh, I can't zoom out enough, <laughs> it's too big, six different colours, It's kind of cool. And these easygoing cargo shorts in six different colours for male sims. In Pyramid Row 3, so the next row down, we get this carved log two-seater in six different colours. I really actually love the white one. It's a love seat with the usual couch interactions. These hikers buckled shorts, these are for female sims and these are just a recolour of the basic shorts that you get in the game. As you can see, if I take them off, put them on, the same, uh, six different colours. We also get these thornproof trek shoes for male sims in six different colours. And the zipped up zippers for male sims. The female version of this was in the paired catch up pack. The male one is here in Pyramid Row 3 of the treasure hunt in six different colours. 
Then in Pyramid Row 2, for female sims, you get these trailblazer sandals in six different colours. So cute. This natural warmth campfire, which really glows, this comes in two different colours. And you can turn it off. Turn it on, you can view it. You can make s'mores. There's a sim making s'mores. You can tell the socks macking a story, is that how you say that? To multiple different sims. They will laugh along and listen as you go. And you can view it. Oh, there are different stories as well. So what's this other story? Mosh Pit Marbles. No one showed up for that one. <laughs> anyway, then we also have this ranch vest and shirt. I think this is really cute. Six different colours for female sims. It's very cool. Then in Pyramid Row 1, We've got this Vedant double bed. I love this too, in six different colors. That just comes with the normal interactions for beds. So you don't get the bill one, it's only on that other one. And this hairstyle, which is called side braid ponytail, but it's not actually side braided at all. I don't quite understand why that's called that. And this is it in the 17 different hair colors. Very cute. Let's check how it sits under a hat. Oh, it just disappears. That's a shame. Oh, and as far as I know, the campfire does have party appointments, so you can use that at parties, as does this tent. This is one of the grand prize items in six different colours. I like this tent and I also am annoyed by this tent. So you can view it and you can woohoo in it. You can't sleep in it. I think you should be able to sleep in it. That's my first downside about it. Also the woohoo animation is, uh, is just, it's not great. So uh, let's just get Melissa over here. They like literally, they zoom in. So you don't see them actually go in. And yeah, then they're in there and that's that. Doing their thing, looking real woohoo-y. But the speed that they go in there is mental. I wonder if I can pause it and see what it is like. Ah, oh, it's too fast. <laughs> but I would like to have seen them actually get in there and I'd also have liked to see them be able to try for a baby if that or you know if that interaction is already happening and some hearts like you usually get with wahoos floating above the tent and uh, just to be able to sleep in it would be nice next is the tarp covered shower box which is here right next door to this this is in six different colors another grand prize now we were told that the privacy options, the privacy things that stop people, that stop sims from showering when people are in the room have been turned off for these outdoor showers. There's another one coming up in another event. Unfortunately, I don't believe this to be true. I have reported it, haven't heard anything back yet. But yeah, let's see. Oh, experience Hydra flush. Let's try that. So he's totally not bothered there. He goes in, that's all great, a great outdoor shower. Um, and you can rinse off, it's the same. Well, he has his pants on with that one, okay. But it's not letting me 
do the other two or the other three interactions because it says he needs some privacy which you're going to struggle with outside with this particular shower you can move it inside so it does mean that you can oh oh no someone's in there that's okay we'll move her outside you can actually use that to its full capacity, thank goodness. And the final grand prize with this one is Stonework Sink with Mirror, which is this. Six different colours, nice item. You can use it inside and out. And usual sink interactions. Fabulous. Okay, next is another treasure hunt. While camping fulfills the soul, sunbathing makes the skin glow. So grab all the beach essentials from the sensational treasure hunt. Excavate with small fry to win these prizes. So let's go through them. This treasure hunt, sensational, is going to start on July 3rd at 5pm UTC until July 16th at the same time. So let's start with the quest reward for Small Fry's quest, which is this Tide Curly Updo for male sims. We've seen this previously for female sims, now it's available for male sims as a quest reward. These are the different hair colours. As part of the treasure hunt catch-up pack, we've got this decidedly divine draped dress for female sims. Comes in the six different colours. I think that's super pretty. Then in Pyramid Row 4, we've got this 20,000 leagues poster. It also makes me laugh that not only have they integrated so many pet items, they've also <laughs> made so many like water referencing items as well two major things that they don't have in the game it's just asking for trouble so this is a 20,000 leagues poster in six different colors it just changes the frame color and you can view that then also in pyramid row 4 we have this clackety fish mobile six different colors this hangs both inside and out. It's kind of cool. It's not really clackety at all. You can just view that. Then we also have this old Shelly statue, which is a turtle on a rock. Six different colors. They're very, very dark. I think it needs to be lightened a bit and you can view that. You can't like climb on it and take a photo. We can view it. We also have this easy wooden shutter, which I have here. This is quite a nice change from having windows. Six different colors. I think that's lovely. That's how it looks inside and out. Plus this sarong over shorts, six different colors. cute. The hand carved hallway table which is this one, eight different colours. And the patterned trad skirt, let me just see if I can change this top to something a little higher. I don't think there's anything cropped for male sims to show you the top of this unfortunately but you get the uh, idea six different colors it does have a lovely waistband but i don't think we're really going to be able to see it and also we get this huge crochet bikini bottom in six different colors for female sims and oh my goodness what are you doing here come off there please thank you <laughs> this coconut mocktail bar stool Six different colours. And you can read to a child or relax on that. Then in Pyramid Row 2, jeez woman, she sits on everything I want to show off. You get this resort wooden love seat. Six different colours. It's a very nice seat. 
and you can do the usual couch interactions on there. And where has that scantily clad woman gone? Right when you need her. The huge crochet bikini top in the six different colours. The beach shack bed, which is unfortunately missing from this preview build, or we think it might be this box, but <laughs> that's the one shown in this image. That's all I can show you for now, I'm afraid. Pyramid row one now, the resort walkway trellis in six different colors. This does go inside and out as well, so I can have it in there over the bed. I think that's quite cool. And speaking of the bed, you get this six star hotel bed in six different colours. And those are the interactions with that. Then the grand prizes. So we've got another arbor pergola trellis type thing. This is the curtained and cool arbor, six different colours. Some nice details on there. You can just view that. The Adventurer's Outdoor Shower. This is the one I have a problem with, unfortunately. I have reported it as a bug. This is it. It goes outside. Does not go... Oh, it does go inside. I didn't think it did, but it is an outdoor shower. So it is meant to go outside, but if we place it outside, because it is an outdoor shower, you'll see we can't do any of these things all we can do is rinse off so that's a bit of a pain from the impression i got all privacy was supposed to be turned off so they could do everything outside but maybe i don't know if they'll class that as a bug or not because it's it's kind of working it comes in six different colors And it's kind of nice. I just wish it worked fully as an outdoor shower. That's all. That's all I ask. And then we've also got, I swear to goodness, the sims that I want just disappear right as I need them. This punk supreme hair in the 17 different hair colours for female sims. That's everything for the sensational treasure hunt. So next on the blog notes, it reads Brighter Together. In this update, The Sims Mobile celebrates you, your friends and everyone around. Help make the world more inclusive by breaking stereotypes, honouring choices and loving everyone for who they are. Embark on the new Pride and Acceptance quest. Complete your day-to-day -day tasks and some new ones like come out to another friend and read about safe spaces that are relevant to us, our loved ones and the world we live in. Complete them all to win fabulous androgynous looks for your male and female sims. So this new quest, which is the Pride and Acceptance quest, is going to start on June 28th at 10am local time. It's a five day event. I have all the quest steps over on my blog. There's a link in the description and I also tell you on that blog post when you get each of these prizes that I'm going to show you now. So we have the triumphant wedding dress. This one's for female sims. Also get it for male sims. I'll show you that in a second. Comes in six different colours and it's a really nice soft pastel bottom to it. That one's not pastel in the black but it's still the gradient is well sims 4 could never and the male version is right here exactly the same but on a male sim stunning six different colors i don't think they'll wear it if they get married because the sims just don't do that but never mind and then we've got face paints so these are modeled by these sims down the bottom here i'll just take them in they're just called pride face paint one two and three they don't have specific names which is a shame they're under blush like all the face paints are this is 
Pride first paint three. I'm not sure why they aren't just colour variants of each other. I'm not sure why they're not using this opportunity to educate us as to what some of these um, flags mean, but maybe some of you guys can educate me. So that's first paint three. These are all unisex. This one is first paint two. This one does have colour variants. Eight different colour variants actually. And it does absolutely nothing. That must be a bug. Does it do anything? I mean, wow, that's subtle. Surely that's not meant to be like that. <laughs> I'm gonna report that as bug as well. And finally, this one is Pride Face Paint 1 in eight different colours that don't really change. It almost feels like it has a blush underneath it that's slightly getting darker but no. Okay, nice amount of stuff with this um, quest. Next thing being these paintings. You'll have seen these before in The Sims 4 if you play. I think they were even added into The Sims 3 play. I say like even, like they get stuff ahead of anyone. Got the Together Forever painting. These were created by members of the community. This one's in six different colours. This one's called Unbreakable Bond Painting. And this one is in six different colours. It's called the Thicker Than Blood Painting. And I think we can just view all of these. Yeah. Okay, then we have a t-shirt that is unisex for child sims. Where's my little guy? It's, I swear, it's like they know I'm coming. Where are you? This is the universal love t-shirt. It's just a little t-shirt with a pride heart on it. Six different colours. Very cute. You also get this euphoric tank top. I think this is great. Female sims, just one swatch there. And you also get it for male sims. Just one swatch there. Like weird edging on this one. Like it's just been stretched to fit, but yeah. Don't know. Has he changed his shorts? What the heck? And then you also get for male and female sims, so this is on the male sim, the jubilant bustle dress in six different colours. Wowza. Holy moly. I'll leave him in that one, seeing as it's blue. And the same thing for female sims in the six different colours. Pretty cool. And that's everything for that quest. Then it goes on to say, don't forget to mark your calendar. June 19th is the date and the featured section is the place. Make sure to click on the store icon on Juneteenth to claim two free hair packs. One for your adult sims and one for child sims. Plan your festivities for the day and style your sim self in your own way. Let's love and accept each other because we shine brighter together. So yes, there are two Juneteenth packs, June the 19th, 5pm UTC, these will be released. They're available completely free for those of us levels 5 and over, both for 9 days. So the Juneteenth hair pack for adult sims contains this hairstyle which is actually pretty awesome because it also gives them a bit of height and it is quite interesting seeing her stood next to other sims she looks a lot taller which is kind of strange seeing that after seeing all these sims being the same height it's kind of cool anyway 17 different hair colors for this let's see them all Unfortunately, there's not too much texture on the darker ones. Hmm. Because that one really shows through. I, I like that one. And then for male sims, 
it's this one here. This is the thick afro hair. It's a very cool one. 17 different hair colours. And it sits really nicely under a hat as well. I'll show you that in a second. Really try and leave it in the black. But yeah, the hat. I think it sits nicely under a hat. Oh, maybe not that one. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. And there we go. And then the kids' hair pack for Juneteenth. We have Sick Fed with Waves. Not bad. And that's for male child sims and for female child sims basically the male hairstyle that we saw this is the cute medium afro in the 17 different hair colors Okay, then they go on to talk about Emily's Llama List, which is a minefield in itself because usually that's like bug fixes, but uh, this is not bug fixes. For some, for some reason they're just telling us what they've worked on, which is evident in the whole blog post. The only reason I would think to write what you've worked on in this section is because you've not done any bug fixes. But it basically says they've worked on, it says a brand sweet treat showdown, I guess that means a brand new sweet treat showdown, as per player request, pass the book, a co-living designer home dorm style, we'll see about that, new animations and engagements, ready to woohoo outdoors, so they've got that new animation on the bed which is technically a recolor and you can woohoo outdoors in the tent mm, that's you know it's not without its pitfalls the 4th of july bonanza ltr i'll get to that soon um, pride and acceptance quest we've seen the free juneteenth packs it's great we love a free pack for sale nalani's home so that's going to be one that's coming on offer if you missed it in the sim festival put a link down below so you can check out my tour of that and swimwear which is just randomly i mean you can't swim but we've got swimwear and yeah they've been working on that i guess so no bug fixes to report for this i know they did say to us creators that they are focusing on i think it was the missing sims like i think it's mainly the issue with them um, switching sims out and things but uh, there are so many bugs now and I, uh well i'll talk about it later in the video video because i could just go off on one so let's talk about what is coming that i haven't talked about yet because we've of course got quests and packs let's start with packs you know they're never gonna not put packs in the first one being the stately independence pack this is gonna launch on july 1st why are these not in order? Ah, I just can't deal. And my brain just can't right now. <laughs> so, Stately Independence Pack, July 1st. Available for seven days, priced at $4.99. Available for those of us levels five and over. In the Stately Independence Pack, alongside 5,000 simoleons and 500 sim cash, you get the Bootcamp Camo, that is these, for male sims six different colors and they come with the boots attached you also get the flying ace banner which is this six different colors you can view that the loud and proud fireworks which i've got out here better than ball pit textures six different colors you can celebrate your freedom you 
you can celebrate and you can ignore community regulations. Also got, he's also modeling this, the Big Sam top hat. This is unisex in six different colors. And the 4th of July flags, just in one color, and you can just view those. I think they'd be better off higher up the wall, but you can create a nice banner with those. So that's everything in that pack. Next one on this list is called Awesome Independence. This is also launching on July 1st at 5 p.m. UTC for seven days. This is priced at $6.99, available for those of us levels five and over. Alongside 10,000 simoleons and 1,000 sim cash, you get this grill. It's called the Improvised Drum Grill. Six different colors. And it's basically a barbecue. You can grab a hamburger. Did he grab one? Where is he? I guess he went to the fridge. Grab a hot dog. Okay. Grill burgers. And play with fire. Also get this patched up camo jacket. Just gonna change her hair so you can see this properly. There we go. Some nice detail on the inside of the hood there. It comes in six different colours. This is for female sims. It comes with a cool like vest top underneath it. Um, the necklace is not part of it. Let's take that off so we don't create any confusion. And there we go. And then this Stars and Stripes shirt. This is for male sims. Six different colours. And this fruit juice keg. This comes in six different colours. I love that we now have this here. So this is what you can do here. Start the one. You can view it. Boring. Get juiced. The animations leave a little bit to be desired in this uh, particular keg, unfortunately. Also because they don't quite loop right. Do the juice cha-cha. Looks about the same as the last interaction to me. Oh no, then he does that weird pouring thing that I don't, I don't really know what's going on. Uh-huh. The way it loops, it just blows my mind that they allow that to play out. Like, it's not even looping, it's just that's it. They're done. Reset. Try again. And it does the same on the keg stand as well, which is such a letdown. So it, it looks really cool. Oh, when it works, I guess he's not coming over. Let's try a different sim. Do keg stand with... Constance. Nope, she's not coming over. As you can see, it's slightly buggy. Maybe we'll try someone who's already here. I think eventually we'll have to because it just doesn't seem to be working. I'm not sure anyone is here. Ugh, it's not calling anyone over, unfortunately. Let me just try and get these guys to know each other. Seeing as they live on the same lot, it should then work. I guess they have to be friends. And apparently this, um, Keg stand does have party interactions as well, so you should be able to use it at your parties. Okay, they're now friends. Let's try this. What on earth? Why is it not working? Goodness sake. Ugh. Well, I have seen it work in my game, because it was one of the first things I tried, and it did work, so... Let me just close the game and come back. Hmm, I've moved things out of the way now, and it's working, but I also changed the colour. I'm just wondering what fixed that. But yeah, this has a dodgy end to the animation as well. Like, they just finish. It doesn't loop. It would be great for pictures and whatnot, but it's not the best. Let me change the colour and just see if that was affecting this. Yeah, I think 
think it's the colour. Oh no, the colour's working. Okay, so I guess it just had things too close all of a sudden, even though it was working before. Something happened. It was a little buggy. Make sure you've got a lot of space around it, basically. Because the footprint, it does say it needs those bits next door to it. I guess the shower was blocking it. And yeah, it only plays that animation once. Bit disappointing. All in all, good items? Question mark. Next is the Wild Independence Pack. This again starts on July 1st for seven days. Priced at $12.99. Oh, and I should also mention these are all part of a if you buy all three, you get a free pack. So um, all the independence packs that launch on this day are part of this promotion like we've seen before. So this one is priced at $12.99. It's available for those of us levels five and over. In this pack, you get the Statue of Libation. Six different colors. That's an interesting one. You can view that. You've got the Hat of Freedom, six different colours. That's for female sims, the Wedge Shoes of Liberty, I love these, six different colours. And, and that, they're for female sims as well, the Seeing Stars and Stripes, just one swatch of these. I mean, one is all you need. They're very cool. <laughs> um, you also get 20,000 simoleons and 2,000 sim cash in that pack. And those glasses are unisex. And then if you buy all three of those independence packs, so that's the stately, the awesome, and the wild independence pack, you will get for free the starred and striped dress in six different color variants for female sims, which is this here. But this majestic independence pack, which is the free one, will be available from July 1st, 5 p.m. UTC, until July 10th at 5 p.m. UTC. So you get a couple of days grace to purchase that if you've purchased the other packs. The next pack I'm going to talk about is called the Outdoor Nook Pack. This is available from June 1st, 5 p.m. UTC for nine days, priced at $7.99, available for those of us levels five and over in this pack alongside 8,000 simoleons you get this door I can't I just can't even deal with the sims mobile right now so this door is the sturdy thick door hey look that looks familiar you know why because it's exactly the same as this door that we already have honestly you, you honestly you just couldn't make it up could you you just couldn't yeah this is the sturdy thick door she's not the same it's to totally not the same as the lynette pain door this has been changed so if you do purchase it the image that i'm showing on screen is the door you're going to get it will be in these swatches i presume we haven't been told any difference these will be the swatches of the door i mean i don't think i can comment anymore I get told off. So that's that's the new door that you get with this pack, but it will ha it will be different. And the emergency table lamp, which is this down here, very cute. Six different colours. Nice camping theme things. You can turn that on. The carved log seat, which is this. Six different colours. It's a seat. The storage table with tap, which is this. Oh, where are you going? Come back. I know you want to run away. We all want to run away. Six different colours. And the sturdy thick window, which is this one. Six different colours. we go next is the athleisure essentials pack june 6th this one launches starting at 5 p.m utc for nine days six dollars 99 is the price 
available for those of us levels 5 and over, alongside 7,000 simoleons. You get this well-prepared vest and shirt for female sims in six different colours. These Happy Trails hiking boots for female sims in six different colours. The sporty finger shirt, just because it's like got glove hands, for male sims in six different colours. It's pretty cool. The denim rolled up pants in six different colours for male sims. And then for child sims, unisex item this one, you get this little rascal vest in six different colours. Next we have the Shoreline Shack stuff. This pack's going to launch on July 3rd at 5pm UTC for 9 days, priced at $8.99, available for those of us levels 5 and over. In this pack you get this door, which is the teak screen door, six different colours, it's nice and different. Demonstrate. Thank you. The chill out side table, which is actually a lamp. So I'm not really sure why that's called a side table. Six different colours. And you can turn that on. Beautiful. The imported wicker seat, which we unfortunately don't have in our preview build, so I'm not able to show you that in any more detail. The smelly fish stand, which is this. Six different colours. Great for storytelling. Uh, you can view that. And the etched taper table, which is this. In six different colours. And also 9,000 simoleons. Then we also get the Aqua Explorers Pack. This is going to run from July 18th at 5pm UTC for 9 days. Price is $7.99. Available for those of us levels 5 and over. Are opening themselves up to a world of trouble putting a pack like this in. So this is uh, all about exploring the water. Don't take it as a hint because it's absolutely not. Alongside 8,000 simoleons you also get, they are very cute to be fair. The wetsuit, so you're going to get the adventurer's wetsuit and you get this for male and female sims as separate items. This is the one for male sims and the same one for female sims. You also get the striped sand sandals. I think these are lovely for female sims. Six different colours. You get the nifty runners hoodie which is this one. Six different colours. For female sims. And then for male sims you get this Shelly shell necklace. Unfortunately, it doesn't sit with the wetsuit. I have reported that as a bug, so hopefully it will be. You can see it's sort of clipping into his neck as well. Yeah, it's not really catering for male sims. We've also got a few reruns of packs, so they're rerunning the freshly folded pack, which is going to run from July 17th, 5 p.m. UTC, priced at $9.99, available for those of us levels 5 and over for nine days. The Red Carpet Radiance pack is also rerunning. This is starting May 16th at 5 pm UTC for nine days. Price is $7.99 and available for those of us levels five and over. We've also got Nalani's Summer Getaway for sale. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out the tour of that from when it was in the game previously. This is going to be available from June 2nd for nine days, 5 pm UTC. Priced at $6.99, available for those of us levels 5 and over. And also 
de-weeded and up for sale. Basically, it's this house, standard furnished place, but minus Mordry. Yeah, I'd be interested to know what you think of all that. That's going to run from June 28th at 5pm UTC for 9 days. Priced at $5.99 and available for those of us levels 5 and over. Then we move on to the Wumples of the update. So we've got 4 Wumples quests. All of the quest steps are on my website, richiebop.com. I'll put a link in the description to each of those and I'm going to show you the prizes now. So the first one is going to start on May 22nd at 10am local time. They're all five day quests. The prizes for the first are Wumples, the theme being lights for this one. We've got this pretty paper lantern, six different colours. Turn that on and this Spotted pet light, six different colours, and that's that one. Then we've got the second Wumples of the update, which starts June 4th at 10am local time. Same details as before, but this one, the theme is weird trophies, and they are weird. We've got this flushed trophy, six different colours. and this loudmouth trophy in six different colours. And you can just admire those. The third one pulls of the update is gonna start on June 16th at 10 a.m. local time. The theme for this is coastal decor. The prizes are the Watcher of the Bay Life Boy, which is on the wall here, six different colours. You can do everything to make a pool except to actually have a pool. And this, the floor is water deco. Six different colours. So you can make your pools look more realistic. You can just view those. Then, fourth and final one pulls of the update. Runs starting July 10th at 10am local time. And the theme being crates. We've got these here. Six different colours, if you need crates, and these ones, fruitful crates, six different colours. And you can just view those. They're also adding things into the eco workshop if you can get it to work. So I will update my blog as soon as I can. There is a link in the description to that. So check down the bottom of it to see what's been added most recently. Because they've added like eight new items. Three build by and five cast items have been added with this update. They also add in with this update this shirt for female and male sims completely free. In our preview builds it doesn't have a name but it's going to be called the love is love shirt. And yeah, like completely free base game, nothing you need to do to get it. These are the different colour swatches. And I'll show you it on a mail sim. Here we are. Beautiful. So that's everything from this Briny Nights update. There's some nice things, but there's also some big holes in this, which really let them down and really let down the niceness of the items. I think I've talked about the things as I've gone along. Personally, huge fan of some of the clothing items are beautiful. I love that they're celebrating pride. Like, and I love the fountain and this brickwork and the new floors are great, but I think they've really let themselves down with the door. In the pack, um, the bed, that's basically the same as the other bed, the animations don't loop right, things are very buggy, they're not fixing the existing bugs. And yeah, I, I'd like, I'd really like to do a video, I think, about how I'm feeling and everything wrong. I don't want to be negative, but at the same time, there's things behind the scenes, there's things that we're all going through, and there's just a lot to like talk about. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't want to be super negative, but at the same time, I don't want to 
keep making these videos and just being super monotone and not giving my opinion because I think a lot of people like to hear other people's opinions about the game and whether you agree or not that's absolutely fine um, either way but uh, and it's always interesting to hear other people's perspectives I think so I don't know if you guys would be interested in hearing how I feel things are going for the Sims mobile and what I think's going on but if if you would like me to have a full-on rant save the Sims mobile type video please do let me know down in the comments section and I'll do that separately rather than ramble on any more in this video because I know you've sat through it and I really appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching. Please do let me know which parts you're excited for, um, which parts you're maybe shocked about, all that kind of stuff. And I will see you again very soon, hopefully. Bye.